everyone, this is Adjuster Frank bringing you a 10 gallon nano update video. A lot of my subs have asked me what was going on with the tank. I haven't done a video uh, lately because nothing really much is going on. The tank has cycled. The Bali Rock was a month old when I purchased it from the LFS, so I was having a hard time getting the rock to cycle. Talked to a few people, and um, what I ended up doing was I was going to put some shrimp in there, some frozen shrimp, but instead I put some. Uh, couple pieces of pellet food and I put some frozen mysid shrimp in there let them float around a little bit of brine shrimp and that helped the tank to cycle didn't really have much of an ammonia spike at all um, and the tank went through a diatom bloom and there is some algae in the tank which is not a big deal uh, at the two week mark I added in some hermit crabs there you are see them hanging out here sorry about the focus uh, I added six hermit crabs in they've been doing a pretty good job um, cleaning the tank not as well as I'd like there are uh, also four Nasaria snails in here but they only come out if I feed the tank they're buried in the substrate uh, we still have the Corellia nano pump um, and I'm still running the Aqua Clear 20 for a filter and after uh, watching many many uh, nano videos I'm probably going to switch to a Aqua Clear 50 or 70 um, they seem to work a lot better one thing I didn't realize with these Aqua Clears for some reason I guess I never really looked at it close enough their adjustable flow so the reason I went with a 20 is I didn't I wanted a filter bigger than what was needed however I thought a a 50 or a 70 would be, be would be way too big but you can back the flow down so um, that is something that I'm probably going to be doing in the future still looking for corals for the tank uh, I think I got a line on some corals my daughter really wants vibrant colorful um, different type of coral uh, and that can be challenging just because of the size of the tank. She doesn't like candy canes, even the kryptonite, the fluorescent green ones. She didn't want any of those. Um, thinking about some scolemias and a mini maxi carpet anemone. She does want a zoa garden. Um, so we're looking at some different zoas. Uh, for now, haven't gotten anything into the tank coral wise. Uh, the Bali rock is awesome. I think it looks really good. Uh, there's a lot of surface area in there and the only other thing that we have purchased other than the hermits and the snails are two sexy shrimp um, when I saw these shrimps on uh, Mr. Saltwater sexy tank I thought they were pretty cool excuse me I thought they were pretty cool and I showed them to my daughter and she thought that they would be cool in the tank so these are really small ones. These are just juvenile, if you if you will. I don't know how to if, if shrimps are juveniles, but anyways, these are very very small, sexy shrimps. Um, I imagine over time they're going to get quite a bit bigger. But I also noticed that when I was reading about these shrimps, they should be kept in two, three, four, in, in somewhat of a group, so a minimum of two. So that's what I did. And that's just what I read. I've seen many tanks with just one. Uh, so we went with two of them. So that's all that has been going on with this 10 gallon nano tank. Uh, hopefully within the next week we should have some corals in there um, and possibly a fish. She's really selective on which fish she wants. She hasn't found quite the right one yet. I'm actually thinking of a longhorn cowfish. Uh, my LFS has a really tiny one. Um, and I know they get over 12 inches long, 12 and a half inches long, or a foot and a half long. Um, however, I think for a good amount of time, we could keep a one of those fishes in this tank, uh, you know, for maybe a year, maybe a little long, depending on how fast it would grow, and then just transfer it out after. So that was a thought. Um, other than that, that's it for this update. Hope everyone is enjoying their tanks. Thanks to all my subscribers and everyone for watching my videos. Any comments you have, questions, be sure to uh, to hit me up. Um, as for the 
any other builds that I'm doing. My office build is on hold since I haven't been working a whole lot lately. However, I am trying to secure a 90 gallon, uh, 90 gallon, gallon drill tank to replace the 72. Um, bubbles, the yellow tank needs to get out of that 36. So that's one thing I'm trying to do and then uh, set that up for the meantime. So that's it for now. I'll do an update on the 36 here shortly. And thank you for everyone for watching and commenting.